Hello, this is Antonio over at Real Men Real Style, and today I'm going to be talking about Of Rogues and Gentlemen. Now, if you haven't heard of this, this is Brooks Brothers' new blog. It just came out, and uh, so it's expected that their blog is going to be a little bit rough, and uh, I'm going to give you my first impressions of the blog. I uh, am a fan of theirs over at uh, Facebook. And I believe uh, it's me along with almost 30,000 other people. So that was where I saw the introduction. Also, Chris Hogan over at Off The Cuff, he uh, tweeted this and I saw that tweet. And so I came over and first impressions are, I have uh, seen this before or so I felt. Actually, uh, of the way their logo is set up and with the wooden background, I, I really felt, and I have to admit, my first impression was I was a bit underwhelmed. Uh, I kind of expected a bit more from Brooks Brothers. Again, you know, this is an early layout, and uh, I expect them to change this. But I guess I was just expecting a bit more from uh, such an iconic company. Compared with Mr. Porter and some of the other launches I have seen, this one, you know, perhaps this is more of a soft launch. You know, Mr. Porter put out tons of information now the most interesting thing for me is actually to look at their blog role and to see who in a sense i always look at people or especially with brooks brothers they're going to be very careful about who they link to they probably even had a discussion about this and uh, i saw a lot of the usual suspects here uh continuous lean alan flusser's bespeak uh, it was interesting they actually link over to Esquire and GQ, which makes sense. Esquire, good, solid it's the relationship they've had with Brooks Brothers for, for you know, almost 100 years. And uh, then GQ, that one was understandable. How to talk to girls at parties, that one was a bit different. I was very happy to see the art of manliness here. As many of you know, I write uh, with Brett over at the Art of Manliness and very... Uh, very cool. The style blogger, that one was a bit unexpected, but not not really because Dan is doing a great job over there. So the style blogger, that's great to see them there. All right. So let's get back to, you know, my I use the word underwhelmed. And I guess that's because I expect so much from Brooks Brothers. And they've got the, uh, the little, you know, the, their logo up here. So besides that, and if you go down and look at the Facebook page, that instantly tells you that they're using, you know, obviously 30,000 people haven't liked this blog. But if you look at the URL, blog.brooksbrothers.com, they are clearly part of Brooks Brothers. And that's probably the first thing I felt missing here is, uh, you know, I didn't, they, they're not really showing me any faces. I'm not seeing a lot of the models who I'm used to seeing, who are, you know, very attractive people. And, you know, I, I, I'm just, I understand with with smaller companies, uh, uh, you know, over at a tailored suit, one of the reasons you don't see it, which is my custom clothing, one of the reasons you don't see a lot of the faces is because, well, we use the uh, the same models, which early on happened to meet me, but uh, I, I did that to try to appear bigger. I'm wondering why Brooks Brothers is, uh, again, very early, but let's, so they've got those categories up at the top. This is click on uh, the clothes and the clothes, actually, I, let me click on this look is, or open that link as well. But the, the clothes is where I'm going to start. And here's where they really do start to get into details. They talk about the story of Super Pima, uh, Suit Yourself, Part 1, 2, and 3. Uh, looking at the dates of these articles, you can tell that they really looked, I mean, this is a 2011 project, which is interesting because over at a tailored suit, almost, uh, gosh, it's, it's almost been almost four years. You know, I have been working to build up a library it's not blog like because on my stuff you can't leave comments, but it's very interesting to see some of the bigger companies coming in. Now I'm expecting to see the men's warehouse and Jose Banks, not not putting Brooks Brothers in that category. But you know, I'm, I was always surprised that it took them this long to get into the game of providing information. Okay, so I, I skipped over to the look. And this is apparently where you find your style and their style commandments and what to wear. Again, I didn't find this very original because at a lot of the blogs they're already linking to, they're already giving me the rules and the commandments and all that stuff. So 
they, they do talk about you know, you know some great things. They talk about the pleat versus uh, front pleat debate. Actually, I really liked this image that they used here. Something a bit striking, different. And you can tell by some of the writing that obviously it's Brook Brothers, Brooks Brothers, uh, Yankees versus Red Sox, Harvard versus Yale. Obviously, that right there is telling me it is a Northeast United States uh, orientation. But uh, but then it's you know nothing really super deep, uh, which I'm surprised. And the other thing I kind of felt missing from of Rogues and Gentlemen is a personality. Who is behind this? Who are the people of Brooks Brothers? I mean, who who I don't who were Brooks Brothers? Uh, you know, so so little things like that. It, it really is lacking right now a personality. Suit yourself, part one. The content is good. The advice is solid. What I would expect from Brooks Brothers. It's just, I, I would like to see a bit more life to it. Suit Yourself Part 2. Again, they do a great job. They they have all, you know, when I, I, I know having put information like this together, I always found my issue was finding the time and also, uh, you know, getting the getting the right pictures. As a custom clother, my stuff goes in, and I, I just don't carry a lot of inventory. And so I'm really surprised that they don't uh, make better use of pictures. All right, where are we at? We are at the answers. So this is where they put out questions. This was an interesting one, uh, posing for posterity. And uh, they asked the question about the family portrait, and they give a pretty solid answer. And they've got the main pocket square. Again, I can tell by the postings dates as it this is March 1st, March 1st, March 1st, March 1st. Obviously, they're not putting these. They just, I, I mean, this thing probably went live at the end of February. And that's when they probably started loading it with content, which nothing wrong with that. But it really does tell you, uh, you know, when they've been entering the game. And this thing is new. So here we go into uh, the answers. They talk about the pocket squares. Here's an example. Um, they go step one. It could be laid out a bit better. It's not necessarily intuitive that there's a slideshow here. All right. And finally, they well, not finally, uh, the next section, the life. They've only got one article here. Uh, give me the keys. They talk about the Florida Keys and Ernest Hemingway, which makes sense. And I expect they're going to talk about more destination and everything here. And then we've got the man, which I don't know what this is, but it's coming soon. So something to look forward to. All right. Well, let's go back. Of rogues and gentlemen, style advice, tips, and essentials for the modern man. So I'm going to give this a three out of five. And it's not that this is this is bad. I just, I guess I have very high expectations for Brooks Brothers. And I see there's a lot of room for improvement. Really, I would like to see more of the Brooks Brothers personality in this. I feel it's trying to be too much to too many people. Um, they're not really bringing a whole lot of unique ideas, which there's nothing wrong with imitation. I look at this wood background and I have to admit I've had a wood background on my websites for almost four years, the art of manliness has a wood back has had a wood background for a couple of years, and, and I love. Obviously, I didn't invent wood, so I own no monopoly to it. But I don't know. I I, I guess I just was expecting when, when I I knew this was going to happen, but I just thought that they would come out with something a, a bit stronger. Uh, again, it's an early one, and I know that they are going to improve this. And for that reason, you probably need to bookmark this bookmark this blog and come back to it over the next few months and watch the changes. Um, the content is solid. It comes from Brooks Brothers, so you know what it's going to be. Uh, but no, I, I would like to see them improve and take this to the next level. This is Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my review. Take care.